Malawi is a, a small country in sub-Saharan Africa. One out of every five people is HIV positive. The healthcare capacity within the country is in shambles. What Dignitas International does is we go in, we organize them, we support them, we give them the tools, the skills necessary to roll out the medication in a safe and effective manner so that their friends, their community can survive this pandemic and can actually thrive within the pandemic setting. We have established a very powerful prototype model of community-based care in Malawi. We will be working in India and we will likely also work in Cambodia. Scott Simpson is one person who has a deep and profound sense of compassion and who marries that with action. We're going to see him tonight and we're going to begin this race for dignity. And I wish him every success over the next 65 hours. Thank you for your support. Thank you everybody. It's, uh, it was 65 kilometers to get here. It was wet and the only thing I could keep thinking of during that time was, you know, I'm HIV positive and I have access to medications and if my biggest complaint today is that I'm getting rained on while I bike, then I have no complaints at all. The Race for Dignity program has already had a tremendous impact on the people's lives in the Zamba district of Malawi. With the cost of HIV medications down to only $150 a year now, somebody who presently would be a burden to their family, their friends, their community, once they have access to these HIV medications, they become a breadwinner. They start contributing to society. They are really sustaining their community. These are my medications. These three little pills are what keep me from certain death. This is what hope looks like to almost 40 million HIV positive people. I have to take these medications twice a day and when I take them I repeat to myself a mantra that helps me go through the day. I want to share it with you. It's dream as if you will live forever. Live as if you will die today. <laughs>